lovelies, my name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Clarity and today I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about. Uh, I am planning a video, um, I'm going to be doing brushes and kind of like the essential brushes that you need to have and, well not need, but you know what I'm saying, and like the one brush you should splurge on, something like that. Um, but for some reason in my brain, I have this idea that I want to have makeup on and be done up and stuff. So who knows when that's going to happen, right? Um, so other than that, I watched a really good movie today. I actually watched a couple movies today and I, like I told you before, have been in a funk and I've just been really trying to shelter myself and keep my anxiety to a minimum by just resting and dark room and watching movies and spending time with people I care about not spending time physically but like talking to people I really care about playing games I play online games and hanging out with Bella I haven't really even talked to my parents that much but um we, uh, yeah, we've just been hanging out. So I've been watching a lot of movies. I'm really excited about because I'm just about to catch up on Mob Wives and some of the Real Housewives. And, um, but I watched a movie today that I thought was really good and I thought it would pass along because I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I saw a trailer for that and I just didn't know because it could be really awful. Um, but it was, um, As, Abo As Above Is Below. I think that's what the name of it is and it's about like these people going into the catacombs in Paris and stuff and I thought it was really good I found it very interesting it is ex it's really hard to explain like it's from like a historical perspective so it is interesting but then there's also like just kind of like horror type stuff like phobias and worst nightmares and kind of like cult like stuff um, but very light, like it's not like grotesque or, um, like when I say cult, that like freaks me out, but it's not like, it's like seeing, they like walk past people, like seeing them like kind of like worship. You don't really know what they're doing. It's kind of like maybe that, maybe it's a ghost, maybe it's not. So it's just like a combination of a bunch of different things. And, um, but the way that it's shot is really scary and you really feel claustrophobic and that aspect of it is really cool. And when they went down and had like all the different camera views and stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like going to be Blair Witch like all over again. But it actually wasn't, it was really good and, um, I actually followed like the historical, I mean, it's all like made up, but. You know, like, I mean, like, some people believe it's true, but it's like, come on. It's like Illuminati, like, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I thought it was really interesting, and the ending was not satisfying, but I just felt like the actual movie was so good and really, like, spooked me and made me feel, like, really claustrophobic and, like, where are we going to turn next? You know, kind of, it was really good. And then I watched Cake with Jennifer Aniston, which... It's one of those movies that I think if it was, was titled something differently, people would be talking about it because it's named Cake and Jennifer Aniston's in it and it's not getting talked about a lot. People are like, what the heck is this? But um, I would say that it was an excellent movie. I just had a hard time emotionally watching it. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody because it's not like a spoiler movie, but you do along the way find out more and more and more. So I don't want to say anything about it. Um, but let's just say I had some hysterical crying afterwards. Um, so it was um, about a woman who is chronically in pain and dealing with that and um, finding out her story and things like that. So 
I thought it was excellent. Jennifer Aniston was Jennifer Aniston in it, but um, really, really great. I thought it was really good. Um, it's just I wasn't ready for it. I watched Fury. I don't know if you guys are into war movies. Um, but I am, but I have to be, <laughs> I have to be, like, emotionally ready for it, like, either ready for a good cry or, like, in a happy mood because men being brave and serving our country and thinking about how they're treated when they come back and, like, how the men and women that serve our country experience what they experience and somehow just get thrust back to us and try to integrate it it just is so emotional for me and just it, well it's usually men in these things but the men being so brave is just it shatters my heart like I just uh it just I just lose it like I can't I mean I was hysterically crying like the whole movie um and then everyone was such a great actor especially because I know them so well as other people, um, you know, like Shane from Walking Dead, who plays a completely different character, still kind of an asshole, but, um, plays like a completely different character, and, um, Shia LaBeouf, like, was completely different than anything I've ever seen him, and so emotionally raw, that kid can act, I think he's probably, like, has some mental illness, but, um, cause I don't know how else you can tap into that kind of raw emotion. Um, on that note, have you guys watched the Sia video of Elastic Heart? Because I love it and I understand that it's like a huge topic right now, but I knew about like what was said about it. And usually when that happens, I kind of tend to agree with things. I don't like to kind of like go against, especially when it has something to do with like the things that were, it was accused of as like pedophilia and sexual abuse and triggering victims of abuse. Um, so those are like, that's who I worked with, you know, like that's people that are close to my heart. So I went into it kind of with a very cynical look and I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, Keep in mind, I really loved the Sia Chandelier video, um, but I felt like it was art. And like the people that were taking things from it and it was touching their heart in maybe a negative way, triggering them with sexual abuse or something, that's something that they took from it. Because I took from it a, a mother, a, a father daughter relationship, um, or even a parent kid relationship and that like fun dreamy phase and that but then that part where you have to kind of like there's that conflict of like becoming independent and then trying to w make your way apart but it being so difficult and not wanting to but at the same time having to and I just thought it was beautiful and um, Sia herself says that it's her two conflicting selves. One that is like the dreamer and the run after anything and probably the alcoholic side of her, you know, that just immerses themselves in whatever's around them. And then Shia LaBeouf is kind of the sane, kind of like rational, reeling in, part of him but that part's more scared of Maddie's part which is the artistic dreamy part that seems to always take over and be the stronger part of her personality but yet the two still wanting to integrate so desperately because she is a whole person and um so that's how she kind of took it, it and like from an artistic standpoint the artists Maddie and Shia I guess were kind of animalistic and um so I saw nothing sexual like nothing at all um maybe snuggling at like sh as a stretch um but I saw nothing I saw Maddie as like the aggressor and taking him out nothing sexual um I saw it as ideas and art 
So, I don't know. Maybe down below let me know what you guys thought of it. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. Um, I thought it was beautiful. I love the song. Um, it's weird. It is. It's, it's weird, but for some reason... I mean, there are parts of it that are uncomfortable to watch because they're so emotionally raw. And I just think that that is freaking so cool. Like the end part where everyone's like, this is awkward. When Shia LaBeouf is like so frustrated and like trying to break out of that cage, it, it moved me. Like I was just like, man, because I think about the place that he had to go to get that emotion. And it's just like, oh. Like, I don't know. And, you know, you have whatever opinion of him. I I think he's an amazing actor. I don't like him as a person, as far as I know him, out in the media and what he says. Um, but as far as an actor, he is fantastic. So I saw him. That Those were the two things that, like, made me think of him. Um, and he was excellent in both. Um, ba, 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 ba. but Fury is oh my gosh so gory so if you're not if I mean it's like war like this straight up war it's really disturbing so if you're definitely not ready for that don't go for that movie um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I caught if I did it was you know not great or anything to mention but um, yeah I've just been not feeling well um, I don't know if my whole family has kind of like a cold or something or allergies or what but I've just been so sick and trying to take Benadryl and Claritin and then it upsets my stomach and then I can't eat and so I'm trying to make myself eat and it's just such oh so gross and then just waiting for results but um yeah I had a panic attack today but other than that I've been sleeping and um, playing games and watching movies and um, just trying to cope with the situation that's in front of me right now which is being here and waiting for surgery and so yeah I love hearing from you guys and I want to do more videos because I've been reading your guys's comments and I just miss that so much oh I have some fantastic news it's not for me personally, but I'm so excited about it. Um, so, but I have to ask them if I can, I don't think I can say anything about it yet, but as soon as I can, I'll let you guys know and we can all like celebrate and pray about it because it's so freaking cool. And then I think we're going to be going to church. I don't know what day week it is, but Saturday. So I'll be able to do churchy talk, which I'm excited for. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of right now, other than showing you my eye socks. My leg is completely asleep, so I don't even know if I showed it to you. I have, like, spidey legs. I have these really long, really skinny legs. Like, it doesn't look like my body can be, like, held up on it. Um, but anyways, that was so random. So, I guess that was a movie chit-chat. <laughs> um... But, uh, yeah, down in the comments down below, let me know if you've seen any of those movies or if you've seen a good movie lately, even if it was in the movie theater or um, something that you haven't, you know, is really old that you watch. Because there's some stuff that I'm like, I've never even watched it. And it's like, people are like, it's a classic. And I'm like, well, I gotta watch it. Um, let me know in the comments down below. And, um, yeah, just answer all the questions and just chit chat with me because that's what I love. And I love commenting back to you guys and getting to know each and every one of you better. Um, I hope you guys are having a pain free, stress free day, of course. And I love you guys so much. And bye.